Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail, and I have something that's not new to me, but maybe new to some of you who have watched my videos. I have been creating digital papers for about a year now, though I haven't been sharing them on YouTube till this one. I think this is like my 10th collection, so I will eventually go back and film all of the collections, but I did want to to go ahead and show you this one. This one is called Writing on the Wall. Now, all of my digital papers um, come in a format that they are printed on eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Um, this allows those of you who don't own a printer or don't own a 12 by 12 printer to be able to print the papers out and use them. The usable area, as I have these trimmed down to, is eight by 10. You can then print out as many sheets as you need for your project, and um, if you run out, you just print another one. Um, as I said, these can be printed on your home inkjet printer. I recommend an inkjet. It's going to give you the color vibrancy you want. Um, or you can take them into an office supply store and have them printed for you. I do print on cardstock, and I use the cover weight. There's also um, index weight, which is a little bit lighter, and unfortunately, I don't have the exact numbers on that. I, I will post those numbers in um, the information at the bottom of the video. If you wanted to, you could actually even print these on paper if you need a lighter weight, for, for instance, for a 3D project. But let me go ahead and show you the papers. In this collection, there are 12 papers that are the 8x10 usable area, and then there are 12... Um, three by four um, journaling cards and six, uh, four by six journaling cards. Um, on each of these, the larger sheets, there is some sort of script or writing on each of them, That's thus the name writing on the wall. And um, these also have many, uh, about half of the papers have some watercolor um, floral parts on them. This is one of my favorites. Now one of the things with my papers that I work very hard for is that you can mix and match amongst some of the collections um, depending on the colors you want to use and that sort of thing. So once you have the collection, you can use it on multiple projects and you can mix and match with some of my older ones. This one kind of has a quilt, a double wedding ring quilt-like feel to it with the pattern behind it. I love a Harlequin, so I had to have one in this. I also love stripes, so. Um, try to have a variation between the lights and the darks. This is from a spiral staircase. Originally um, started with a photo that I had taken when, when uh, my daughter and I were in New York City. There's a stripe. I love a good stripe to add. It just adds some interest to um, the collection as well. This started out from um, a, a pattern on a pathway uh, in a garden in St. Louis when I taught in St. Louis a couple years ago. And then this one was from, um, again, from New York City. Um, these are glass tiles on the, the sidewalk. My daughter gets upset with me because I take pictures in the, in the strangest places, of the strangest things, and it embarrasses her so much. Um, then these are the little journaling cards, the three by four, that you just trim and cut out. If you wanted to on the back, you could double print them to where on the you had a pattern paper on the back side. It's got a little lace frame around it. Those are the little three by four journaling cards. And then the four by six, three of them are horizontally formatted. A couple of postcards. So you could journal on them. And then three of them are vertically formatted. And one that has a dark background to it. So this is, this collection is called Writing on the Well. I will post the link to this one um, on the information below 
um, and you can purchase them. I have a new thing with my digital papers. If you purchase them within the first three days after they've gone up and they went, these went up um, late last night, you get a 10% discount um, off the paper. So I, I'm going to be trying to post um, videos for each of my collections as I put them out. And I'm also going to backtrack and I think I have 10 collections now, but I will uh, go back and try to show those um, on YouTube here coming up. So thank you very much. I've been having so much fun um, designing these digital papers. So, uh, um, and the people, um, my followers on Ustream and my blog and Facebook have been um, giving me incredibly great feedback on these. So I'm super excited to be showing these here on YouTube as well. And um, thanks very much for watching and thanks a bunch.